What's up? I'm Zofie. No tape. No glue. Hell yeah. I love hair. I like dark hair, light hair, pink, pink hair, long hair, super duper long hair, curly hair, straight hair, and short hair. And this is about as short as I've ever gone, including with my real hair. The only hair I don't like. So this is the shortest I've ever gone. I, I don't have the balls to go any shorter than this. Like, I don't even have a basketball or a baseball or any type of ball in my house. I'm completely ballless. I might have a marble that I found outside. So clearly, I couldn't go any shorter with my hair due to the lack of balls. It's true, I'm a chicken ship, but duck it. I'm not gonna cut my own hair. I'm gonna try on a wig. I don't think it's gonna look good, but We'll see. Hold on, I'm gonna set this up how it was originally before I got my dirty little paws all over it. So quick disclaimer, the video is sponsored and I did get the wig for free. It came to me from Lily Hair, lilyhair.com. All their information will be down below in the video's description, along with a coupon code. Let the unboxing commence. Wig caps, two of them in here, same exact ones that I use. I get mine in bulk on eBay. There's a funky looking brush. Ooh, look at that, you can see my camera. Ha! <laughs> Neat. My $1,350 wig did not come with a brush. Or wig caps. And this one also doubles as a mirror. Although you're gonna look kind of funny. Yeah, you look like a camera. In this little pink sack is the wig. I love it. I got it in blonde so that in the future I can dye it. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it the color it is. Boy, that is short. Oh. Let's shake around a little bit. It's like a little pom pom, little hair pom pom. <laughs> looks like a pomeranian. It looks like I'm shaking my dog right now. So here's what the cap looks like on the inside. So this is the nape of the neck. It goes over here. There's these bra straps that you can put in here to adjust it for a better fit. So this here is the top of the head and that's the front, the hairline. And unlike my other wigs, this one doesn't have any lace. I don't need to glue it down. I don't need to tape it down. I just got to put on a wig cap and put this on like a hat. So this part here, if I look at it from the other side, oh, it's kind of hard to tell, but it mimics the look of skin. You can kind of see it through the hair. It resembles a scalp. With most lace wigs that I get, you can see the hair tied into the lace. It kind of looks like little bugs. <laughs> if you've ever worn a wig, the most important thing when it comes to wig wearing is try to get, if you have hair, try to get your hair as flat as possible to your head. So for most people, that actually requires a bunch of braiding. But if you have no hair, very little hair, or super fine hair, you don't have to do as many braids. I can usually get away with one, but this is a very short wig. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do two braids. I feel like the shorter the wig, the more this part matters. It's a mess back there, isn't it? I'm gonna clip these up. It's 
stick on a wig cap. And put on the wig. Oh yeah, the wig also has these ear tabs. I think if I bend these a little bit, it'll hold it better. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what do you think? You think I can pull it off? I don't look like a Karen, do I? You ready for the bag? Okay. A different person. I don't know if I'd ever go short, but this is, this is fun to try. So yeah, the color's not a perfect match because like I said, I want to dye it later in a future video. If you guys have any color suggestions, let me know down below in the comments. I wouldn't go with blues or purples because the base is so yellow. Maybe I can tone it and then I can do those colors, but those two won't really turn out that well on yellow. And now the super difficult process of putting on a wig. Okay, let's let's style this a little bit. Are we ready? Are we ready for some destruction? Yeah! It's still not coming off. Yeah. So even if you shake yourself off like a wet dog, you'll be fine. No tape. No glue! Hell yeah! I don't really know how to style this. I should probably have a smaller iron, but I don't. This is the smallest girth. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, because there's going to be a lot more terrible content coming soon. I don't know what to do with these short hairs. I want them to flip. Flip! <gasps> Ow! I just burnt my forehead. <laughs> Oh, I remember that back in the 90s. That used to happen all the time. I'm kind of digging it. Not gonna lie. This is fun. It's a fun do. <laughs> fun do? It's not edible. Ow, that's quite a difference. I've never seen myself like this before. It's weird. It's short. It's short. It's it's beyond my comfort zone. It's very short. I can't. I can't even. I. I have no opinions yet. I'm. I'm shocked. I'm shook. Whatever the kids are saying nowadays. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I don't think I would cut my own hair this short. But it is fun to play around with wigs. Wigs are great. So. Yeah. The before shot. The real hair. Oh. Ow. I. Ow. I burnt my forehead <laughs> with the curling iron. There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, Lily Hair. Thank you to Lily Hair for sending this and sponsoring this video. If you want to check them out down below in the video's description. So there it is.
there's me in short hair. Now I know what that looks like and so do you. Congratulations. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell. It might do something. I don't know. And, and that's it. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!